Hi guys! Hello. So we're super excited to be part of It's a Vlogger's World today. They've invited us kindly onto their channel to do a Q&A for It's a Spotlight. So thank you very much guys for having us. Thank you. So if you don't know our channel, I'm Naomi. I'm Danny. And we are two hearts, one family. We are indeed. So make sure you hit It's a Vlogger's World subscribe button. Their links are also on the door and right now for their other social media channels and then once you've done that head on over to our channel and also hit that subscribe button as well so we'll jump straight in with the q and a question one is when did you establish your blog so we started less than a year ago we did yeah as for watching this well it depends when you watch it but um we started in, well they could be watching later than we filmed it you never know like 20 years down the line we started on the 12th of March 2016 and our first video went up on the 20th of March 2016 that was our collection video which it was a very brief thing wasn't it? <laughs> it was Don't very, know. watching it back now it's very very weird very very different so yeah. yeah. Question 2, what equipment do you use when filming your vlogs or out on the go? We use a G7X Canon yes camera which basically everyone uses is a mark one yeah the mark, yeah, mark one. one we also use obviously a tripod which we're using now um, a little handheld it's quite, one on that vlogging yeah basic tripod question three is what are your personal highlights of 2016 then so mine would be Walt Disney World but more specifically it would be doing the wild trek at Walt Disney World that was amazing an experience I'm never gonna forget mm -hmm. and I'll Vlogs should be, if they're not out already, they will be coming up very, very soon of the Wild Duck track. They are taking a long time to edit, there's quite a lot of footage, so stay tuned on our channel if they're not already out. Um, but my highlights would be Walt Disney World, um, obviously. And of course, one thing that we can't forget is our channel. True. That is an amazing achievement. I know we're not the biggest vloggers in the world. No, we <laughs> our channel has friends. grown. And yeah, we've got some we've nice made friends, really nice people. friends. And it has grown over the course of the year. I mean, I think in some of the vlogs we mentioned in around September time, we had 200. We came back off holiday and we had around 500. So it's growing slowly, but we love every one of you. Yep. Four is what are your top five favorite theme parks? So we differ on this. Mm, you do because <laughs> you like big rides and I don't. I wish that. So mine, I would say no particular order. No, no particular order. I'd say Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Islands of Adventure because I prefer the rides. Um, Alton Towers because I love Alton Towers. I used to go like twice a year for probably when I was like thirteen to. 17, 18, so that's got a special place in my heart. It's quite stitchy though, because they're big rides. Not too big rides though, because they don't go on like Nemesis, mm. things like that. And I'd go with Epcot as well. Okay. Mine is, once again, no particular order, is Bush Gardens, um, Islands Adventure, Universal Studios. I'm going to go for both of them. Magic Kingdom's in there as well, and Animal Kingdom. Um, I don't think I could order them to be honest. Question five is what is your top favourite five rides in the theme park? Top favourite. Top five favourite rides. Top five favourite rides in the theme park. So again, no particular order. Thought long and hard. Mm. Mine would be I have them written down, so if I'm looking down, it's because I can't think off the top of my head. Might be Tower of Terror, obviously. I love that ride both in Paris and Walt Disney World. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey in um Islands of Adventure. Um, the Mummy in Universal Studios because it's so good. Uh, Manta in SeaWorld because that's really, really good. And 13 in Alton Towers. Now, I went on 13 years ago and we're going to Alton Towers this year. So, it could have changed. Like, I'm not the Probably. ride, but my experience of it. But I like drop rides, I like going backwards and it's got like all in one. So, that's why I'm picking that. Okay, mine was difficult. It took me quite a long time to figure these out. Space Mountain. It's definitely in there. I love Space Mountain. Um, I think I'd love the Paris one more, but it's actually closed and we go. Um, so I'd probably love that one more because it goes upside down as well. I love that sort of thing. I said about the Rock and Roller Coaster in Hollywood Studios. That's pretty cool. I like, um, I've written my down as well, so bear with me. I like um, Popeye Ride. Absolutely love that ride. 
it's it's not the best, but I was in hysterics the whole way around, and I just I can't remember the last time I laughed so much. It was amazing. Also, I've also put in Shikra and Kumba um, from Bush Gardens. Mispronouncing names. Shikra, Kumba. I'm gonna go for them. So they're upside downy, all over the shoppy theme park rides in Bush Gardens. Question six is your top five places to eat inside the theme parks. Now, this is difficult because it said inside the theme park, so we couldn't pick the hotels. Mm. And we had quite a few that we enjoyed in like hotels, so. Yeah, and three of them are the same for both of us. Yeah, <laughs> so we liked um, Coral Reef, As obviously. You know. Yeah, <laughs> Tiffin's yeah. was another favorite of the trip. Be our guest, but for dinner, specifically. Mm-hmm. And then I chose Casey's Corner, because I really, really like hot dogs, and Tusker House. Okay. We had breakfast there, and that was really, really good. My ones were... Obviously Coral Reef, Tiff, and oh, Be yeah. Our Guest Dinner. Yeah, um, sci-fi, love sci-fi, love the theming of sci-fi, really cool. And Restaurantosaurus, because I love dinosaurs. And, and I'm seeing good. dinosaur bones in there, and it, I like And the food's it. really good. For yeah, it's burger. good. Nice burger in there, it's nice. Question seven is, what is your most anticipated ride or attraction of 2017? Now, it's easy mine would have been last year, <laughs> in 2016. If they'd kept the schedule. But they delayed it. So it's Rivers of Light. So hopefully it does get released this year. I mean, it doesn't matter either way for me because I'm not going to. Hopefully it's not. This year. <laughs> so hopefully <laughs> when I go in 2018, it's Rivers of Light finally will be open. This is a mad, um, But I've spoiled it on Survivor of Ben because I'll have watched it probably several times on yeah. YouTube. But yeah, that is my most anticipated attraction is to finally <sighs> see what Rivers of Light is like. For me, it's uh, Pandora or Avatar Land, whatever you want to call it. It's a shame we're not going next year because that would be cool. This year. This year. 2016. Sorry. It's not 2016 20, it's 2017, anymore. isn't it? <laughs> this year. I'll get used to that soon. We um, are going next year. We can say that now. But yeah, that looks, that looks amazing. And I like that the rides are doing this sound cool. Question eight is if you could pick one themed ride which currently doesn't exist, what would it be and which park would you put it in? Now, this is difficult because mm. for me, a lot of the rides of films and stuff that I already like are already in existence. So I picked Nightmare Before Christmas and I know there is slightly like a version in Disneyland when, when it comes to like the holiday season they turn um, Haunted Mansion. the Haunted Mansion into the um, holiday mansion. But like an all time sort of ride that you could just go in any time. I think that would be pretty cool. How would it, how would it be? Like have you got an idea of how it would I don't know, just sort of sort of like what they do when they turn it into so just going around. Yeah, got, and just see the story off like Jack so and like Sally. So like a small one, but you've got like Yeah, just, I think yeah. that would be pretty cool. Okay. And I think it would work well in Magic Kingdom, but it could also work well in Hollywood Studios as well. I've gone for Wreck It Ralph. I think Wreck It Ralph is a a film they could make into an ideal ride. Video game esque. Got they the are ra- though. Got the racing. Well, I'm just saying, not in a minute though, is it? But they are. Yeah, well, well they've got the video game S, you could do like a 3D thing, you've got race, you know, racing in it, so you could do like a race. So I was thinking it could be in Tomorrowland in the Magic Kingdom, but I think best would be in Epcot. So instead of chess track, I think they could make that, because it's obviously racing, they could make that into a record rough. I'm just saying, it's never going to happen. This is all hypothetical, but. Something like that, so you have like a race in it, and you've got like a 3DS thing, and I think it'd be cool. Question nine is, what vloggers should we be checking out? Um, again, also really difficult, obviously. We have some fantastic vlogger friends, loads of vloggers out there that you should definitely check out. One couple that we would recommend is Simon and Lisa, um, or called Reeves Family Adventures is their YouTube name. They've recently gone to Walt Disney World, um, actually, as we're filming this, they're leaving today, so I feel really sorry for you. I know how that feels. Um, but yeah, they're a great, fantastic couple, um, really friendly, and their vlogs are really good as well. So definitely check them out. And number 10, which is the final question, is what are your plans for 2017? So, times of holidays, any other sort of plans, things like that. So, we don't have much planned, unfortunately. I'd love to say we're going back to Walt Disney World, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but we are going to Disneyland Paris. We are in which March. Which I'm super excited about. That's very, very soon. That's from the 6th of March to the 10th of March, which is right over my birthday. So that's creeping up very, very soon. And in May, the 28th, uh, Natalie and Jamie have organized another meetup. So I think this will be their third one because I think they are doing Thought Park again beforehand, so 
so this will be the third meetup, I believe. At Alton um, Towers. At Alton Towers, yes. So I'm really excited for that. You get to meet people finally. <laughs> yeah, I know. There was a plan obviously to book yes. for Disney World 2018 in April time. Yes, so hopefully Disney World will um but Disney will announce the dining packages, the free dining for those in the UK for next year. And that's where we're holding out to book. So we'll be booking for three weeks in October slash November 2018. And once we've got that booked, we can then start planning our Disney wedding. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, again, thanks for Vloggers World for having, letting us be on their channel. And um, make sure you subscribe and subscribe on our channel as well. And we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.